Today we're coming to the end of the fourth day of the 12th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation, CBA 12, being held in Lilongwe in Malawi. And this, today, the last day, is actually also the Africa Regional NAP Expo, NAP being the National Adaptation Planning Process that all countries are do doing, particularly the least developed countries, with support from the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change Secretariat. So this is their event today. And the rest of the CBA participants who are here for the last three days are also participating and providing input. So it's very much a bottom-up communities meeting with the top-down government officials carrying out the NAP and exchanging views. Over the last three days, we had some very, very interesting interactions. We had a number of marketplaces and skills shares to get people to interact and get to know each other and learn from each other. And then we had a series of uh, workshops in three different work streams looking at climate finance at the local level how to increase that looking at how we can get evidence that can influence policy making so evidence from the ground that can then be used to influence policy making at the national and global levels and then finally looking at the role of technology and how to how technology can help enhance adaptation at the local level as well all three work streams uh, developed uh, uh, pitches for potential funding and at the end, we had a Dragon's Den a format for each of the pitches to be presented to a set of investors who uh, gave their comments on the potential viability of finding funding for those pitches. It was um, not a real Dragon's Den exercise, but nevertheless, it was quite an interesting way of uh, preparing projects and proposals. And then we had yesterday a major plenary discussion on the issue of gender and climate through a Talanoa dialogue. Talanoa is a Pacific term for consultative and participatory dialogues and discussions that the Fijian presidency of the COP23 last year initiated. And these Talanoa dialogues are now taking place all over the world and will culminate in COP24 in December uh, in pulling together views from around the world from all sectors. And the Talanoa dialogue in, in CBA was led by Mary Robinson, who is a high level representative of the UN Secretary General on climate and our views from the local level, from the community level on the Talanoa dialogue on gender and climate in particular will feed into the global Talanoa dialogue under the presidency of Fiji uh, in COP24 in Katowice. So finally, we are hoping to get our messages across not just within uh, the grassroots level community of practice that has grown on CBA, or within the countries themselves, but at the global level, at the Conference of Parties next year, next December, we will be bringing that message to the Development and Climate Days event. And then we hope over the next few years to continue uh, this process of taking voices from the ground to the global uh, through the CBA conferences.